Charging by conduction involves conductors that are insulated from the ground, they are touched, and charge is transferred between them. We have here the insulator at the bottom. The whole point of this is to prevent any extra charge from going down, any electrons flowing down to the ground, or electrons coming up attracted by a net positive charge. The other convention that we'll have to get comfortable with here are these signs here. You can see we have one, two, three, four positive charges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negative, so four minus eight gives us a charge of negative four Q. Over on this sphere, which we're calling neutral, you can see that there are four positive charges balanced by negative four gives you a net charge of zero. Now please don't confuse this with electrons. As you know from chemistry, Avogadro's number, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. So if this was aluminum, for example, you, and you had 27 grams of aluminum, that's a mole of aluminum, which means you have over 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. Each atom of aluminum has 13 electrons. So you can see we're dealing with absolutely huge numbers of electrons. So that's not what this is. This is just to help us understand the concept. So in this case, you have a negative 4Q over on this sphere, 0Q here. The total charge between the two spheres is negative 4Q. The spheres are now brought together and they touch. The electrons are now free to flow between the two charges and the excess electrons from this sphere flow over to this one and they are as far apart as possible as like charges repel. However, note that they were equally distributed between the two spheres. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six negative charges. This sphere also has six negative charges. Note that the total charge that we started with on the two spheres stays the same. We still have a total charge of negative 4Q. The spheres are now moved apart again. The charges that moved from this sphere over to that one are now stuck. They cannot escape. They are blocked from going to the ground by the insulator and the air between them happens to be a very good insulator. So what we have now is, remember we had six negative charges on each one? So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a negative six Q we still have the four positive. Four minus two gives us a total negative charge on this sphere of negative two Q. Same thing on this sphere. Six negative charges are remaining. Four positive, negative two Q. Once more notice that the total charge is the same thing we started with in the beginning. It's just divided differently between the two spheres.